Today, I'm taking a few of my Lego ideas and making them real. Really bad. Hi, I like the 501st Clone Troopers. Because of love for blue clone troopers, I'll make a good display. Unfortunately, my display is and running a little bit tight on the face. The way I currently see it, I have a few options laid out before me. One, I could just add a few more holes on the current structure. B, I could add the Captain Rex bust and build it around it. Or C, I could make it really ugly. My first issue with redesigning is making it look cohesive with the current thing that I had going on. The curvature of those bricks adds a little bit of flair, some pizzazz. It makes it look ritzy. Fortunately, there's a very similar piece that already exists that would slot in pretty neatly to my current structure. But uh-oh, I only have one. Fortunately, video sucks. It was at this point when I found out that four new 501st troopers were coming out and uh-oh, I ran out of parts again. Nothing a few little shorties can't fix, I guess. Originally, I did like the 501st brick as a sign behind it. It kind of made it more whole as a build. I wanted to try different approach with it though and add it to the base and unfortunately it kind of gave the build a sizable forehead but I do for some reason find that kind of comforting and after realizing I don't like the white I put a band around it and made it look both better and worse and now I have a finalized product that's too big kind of ugly kind of thick and I am happy no now I'm happy Modulars are a Lego sub theme consisting of these meaty slabs. Every once in a while, mini sets like these come along to promote the theme, and I want to use all the small ones to make a more normal modular. I do have a few ground rules though. It has to be in the same base plate system, they have to have the pinholes to attach to other official modulars, and I have to use all of the promos. Hopefully along the way, it won't look like crap. Spoilers! It will. I was thinking maybe a half-sized 16 by 32 studs base plate would work, but even without the cars, it's quite cramped. 32 by 32 studs is the normal size and it would work, but I kind of want to have space for the cars. I'm thinking combining one of each will be the best route. I'll be back later with an update. I don't really care one way or another for the Lego Mario theme. I do, however, carry a rather unfortunate disposition for wasting money, hence a nearly complete Lego Yoshi collection. Emphasis on the Lego part of the Yoshi collection. I tried putting together additional colors even without the unique face prints, but the Yoshi is just too specialized. May perhaps the much smaller Nintendo 64 Yoshi would work, but alas, the struggle to find parts in the correct colors proved to be much too challenging. I took a page from America's Playbook. Let's just do what they're doing over there, but big. Introducing Big Yoshi. It has all the regular forms and functions of Yoshi, but spinning pen. Now before you go praising my creative genius, wondering where did he get the inspiration to pull this maneuver? Well, I saw how Yoshi and Koopa share the, the same prints for their nostrils, and then I saw that they did a, a big Koopa, and I thought that would be cool if they did Big Yoshi. Upon near completion, I realized, oh wait, Yoshi has tail. Oh, oh wait, Yoshi does have a shell. Oh wait, Yoshi has neck, boobs? The tail looks not great, but Mario does fit on it and it doesn't fall over every single time. It took me a while to figure out Yoshi's neck boobs and I went through a bunch of different parts trying to figure out how to make it work until I remembered that there were bigger forms of these parts already in existence. I'm not super happy with the gap, but it's fine from a glance. I wasn't able to finish this entirely accurately. Yellow Yoshi does have green shoes, but those parts that come in green only came in two sets and I would need to spend like 10 bucks on four parts. I have a peel box, send them to me. Speed round of custom Yoda minifigures, heads by no self promo. There's tourist Yoda, beach Yoda, gamer Yoda, naked Yoda, brought to you by Obama, disgraced former sea captain Yoda, holiday special Yoda, rain boots Yoda, force ghost Yoda, force spirit Yoda, adventurer Yoda, fancy Yoda, Dr. Yoda, and Black Yoda. Not everything needs a name. Not a big fan of the wall. It looks kind of bad. What I'm going to do is either A, put some pillars or whatever throughout the wall to add some depth, especially in the spots where the pin connectors are, or I will recess the wall just one stud. I don't like that it would be a simple like tile job or putting plates in there. It'll look like crap. So I have stairs made where I'm thinking I'm going to raise the level of the park up just a few studs and then have a ramp down here. And then I think I'm going to have this just at an angle. So it's a little bit more interesting than square. I have acquired three different display cases that I want to form the same function. Display a minifigure without speckles of human skin on them. Starting off with the smallest one, we have the eye display case, and I am not the biggest fan of this. Having enough space to snugly fit a six x six plate, you have a lot of options for decoration, but its stature is 
pathetically short. Seeing since it's a do-it-yourself project, you have to put it together, and the dimensions and the cutouts are just way too tight to be comfortable. So tight, in fact, there's already a crack in one of the slits. This thing is a little bit expensive to ship in, but it does come significantly under the next display case at $6.40. With studs being a part of it, you can just slide a figure right on it. Now, the whole thing comes off the base real easy, which could be seen as a benefit, but the lid at the top coming off so easily doesn't really seem to have a purpose because no one's cramming their fat fingers in there trying to swap out figures. With the significant quality upgrades with Wicked Bricks, the price shows at $14. Unlike our last one from Daiso, which don't ask me how much it was because it was in yen, only being a couple dollars, the material is really, really cheap and it shows. You could and I would recommend cramming multiple figures in here if not some sort of little build to be protected. Now, which one would I recommend? Whichever one can hold Buff Yoda. Since you've watched the video this far, I'm gonna assume that thus far you've enjoyed the video. And since you've enjoyed the video, then you should subscribe so you can enjoy future and past videos. And just subscribe. I was told that my pole looks too thick and out of proportion. So since that's too girthy, I'm either gonna try to A, do a thinner one. Also these lamps, I don't know if I'm feeling them. All I need to do to finish this up is the well, park itself, but I'm not really feeling the path. It just doesn't look good the way it is. It's not necessarily done, but I don't wanna finish it because I hate it. Trying something a little bit more difficult. I've done it once before with a similar grass style over it. It's gonna require me sinking everything else down a little and then putting plates on top of it so they overlap and cover up the jagged sides. Once we grab the most current Mickey, I needed a way to display them. A hauled Mickey of sorts felt like a sound idea. It looks good, but how do you talk about that for more than 15 seconds? Slap a bunch of different figure collections and say how profoundly smart you are for swapping battle droids for Iron Man? Well, look how smart I am. Go me. And here is the final thing, and I gotta say, I'm not that disappointed with myself this time. I think it slots in with real modulars quite efficiently. Because I left part of the back open, I feel like it makes the underdeveloped LEGO City alleyway system feel much more lived in. I decided to use the first path system underneath the flower cart, and just cram in as much foliage as possible everywhere else. The tree in the power line helps transition with the much taller modulars around the mock, and I'm not the happiest with how cramped the parking lot is, but if you've ever had to park in a big city, it's uncomfortably accurate. Let me know how you're feeling. Do you think it fits with the other modulars or more likely how poor this and everything else I did in this video turned out?